the one six scale Ludens astronaut. This is going to be extremely cool. Oh, from 1,000 toys, yes. Hello everybody, Donobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. On this episode, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the one six scale Ludens from Kojima Productions. This is the Ludens Astronaut. This is uh, based on their mascot. Kojima Productions is known uh, for Metal Gear. They are a video game designer. They make and they are responsible for the Metal Gear series. And their logo, their, their mascot is the Ludens Astronaut. And this box art is incredible. 1,000 toys. I don't worry about 1,000 toys anymore. They always do the right thing. But, you know, before I begin this unboxing, uh, I want you folks to meet Luden. Now tell me that's not a killer intro. That is the Ludens Astronaut. This figure is based on that intro. That intro blew me away when I when I found out that 1000 Toys was gonna make a 1-6 scale figure on this astronaut from Kojima Productions. It was, it, I, I couldn't wait, I could not wait. That is the hologram. This right here I'm holding in my hand is the uh, holographic uh, piece that you saw in that trailer. And uh, um, everything that you saw in that trailer from the astronaut to the flagpole, it's, it's in this box. And uh, I'm excited. I think that trailer is probably a couple years old, I, I believe. And uh, this was released in Japan months ago. Finally got mine from Big Bad Toy Stores, and I, I can't wait. And uh, I, I've seen some of the early reviews, and uh, it's blown people away. I, I love space. I love astronauts. Uh, I love 1000 Toys, so the fact that they took the liberty and commissioned this piece is just phenomenal. And and I'm in awe. I'm just I'm just like wow. I mean look at this. I, I, I love look at that oxygen tank. Wow. The detail <laughs> the detail is mind blowing in this thing. And uh, the, the the figure uses a ratchet click system with its joints. So it it will hold its position depending on how you pose it. And I, I'm just holding it. I, I'm kind of just in, in awe. I really, really am because this is just, <laughs> this is just mind blowing. Simply mind blowing. I'm looking at all the the, the hoses, the, the the connectors, the fabric. Uh, the quality is, is is here. It is it is just incredible. And uh, um, this is me guessing, but I can see that there was a seam here, so I popped open the case. I had. I, I have a habit of unboxing things without actually reading the instructions and I just discovered this I didn't know that that was there and that looks like a switch and I can and I see the little plastic flap to the uh, battery case and which is nice that uh, the batteries are installed already and if you just gently remove the plastic piece it will uh, it will turn on that little pick there I kind of looks looks like a, a, a survey pick like if you were on the moon you would uh, You'd stab that into the ground, <laughs> and look at that. It th now, as far from what I understand, this is the only lighted feature. Is that uh, there's these little two LED lights inside the helmet that give it that uh, creepy blue blue hue. Pop that on there, and that's look at that. That's just <laughs> I, I'm just I'm I'm giddy with excitement. I, I really am because this is such a mind blowing piece. Especially from from Kojima production, the fact that they took the liberty on making this ad, uh, a, a mascot. Oh, little knee pad fell right off. It looks like it just slips right on, so I'll pop that back in there. If I wanted to, I could probably glue that on there, but I'm not going to. And uh, it looks like it's like a fiber, like a plastic fiberglass molding. It's kind of loose there. It's loose there on the uh, 
on the calves and then the, the feet are, are rubber there's a joint there but uh, it's a really like it's a soft plushy fabric underneath that uh, that hard shell shell mold and uh, I like this strap here that's pretty neat. that's that's really neat I like the molded plastic and 1,000 toys you did it again the micro printing I had to show you folks look at this this is incredible. I tell you what, 1000 Toys has mastered the craft and art of microprinting. Because this is just incredible. I mean, I'm zooming in as high as I can. I mean, and, and you can read it in Sherlock is, is airtight. Look at that. Extravehicular creative activity. Look at that. Barcode on there. In case of emergency, open it. That's just in. <laughs> I've never seen this type of, I don't even know if, if does Hot Toys have this type of micro printing? I'm going to have to look now. I, I, I know on certain Iron Man Hot Toy figures, the, there is micro printing on specs, but I, I think, I think 1000 Toys has mastered the, uh, the, the, the craft here, because this is just incredible. This is really some serious micro pr uh, print. Look at that, Insure Lock is, is, is tight. The paint is beautiful. It's, the paint scheme that was applied on that uh, air tank is just phenomenal. This is the flagpole. That flagpole is is steel. It is it is metal. That's what Luden uses when he's on the moon. I'm assuming he's on the moon or a planet. And then you attach the holographic display on there, and uh, it's pretty easy. It doesn't light up, but it, the plastic on there does kind of give it a holographic effect on how the light shines off of it that's neat that's really neat i like that i like the flag i don't think i'll be able to have him hold the flag inside a, a detop just because of the actual size of it but uh, yeah that, i mean that's that that's a sharp point that's a sharp metal point there too at the end of that flagpole uh let's look at what else uh, what accessories this is the frosted helmet casing so if you wanted a, a, a see-through or if you wanted him to be conspicuous depending on on how you prefer it but that's neat because in in that actual trailer you he does activate the the, the helmet visor where you can see his face and, and you don't kind of visible and then non-visible that's neat that's really really neat and then two sets of uh, hands there I'm assuming one is to hold the flight yeah these are the flagpole hands depending on how you want them to hold it then uh, this punch if he wants to hit an alien in the face I guess <laughs> uh, look at that look at whoa it's interesting a square peg that's odd I've never seen a 1-6 scale figure with a square peg that must be something new because I've never seen even 1000 toys ever used that before what else is I'm just inspecting the box to see if I missed anything What's a shame about this? Uh, it, it doesn't come with an actual stand, so I, I think uh, 1,000 Toys missed the mark on that. It could have been for cost. I'm assuming this wasn't a very expensive piece. And that's look at so it's a it's like a ball joint and then a peg, and I guess it pops right out. That's that's very unique. There you go. So it's a square peg with a ball socket pops in and then you, you swap out the hands and then if you remove the, the sharp tip at the end of the flagpole you can slip the hand on there and it grips it just nice pop that on there yeah they should have included a base for for, for what you're spending on this I it I think I spent their big bad three 315 I mean it's I, I can see the value on this thing this is just an incredible for the amount of detail that you get with this Compared to Hot Toys, where a, a die-cast war machine now breaks over four hundred dollars, this this figure n now feels like a bargain. <laughs> uh, I'm just inspecting it right here, doing some nice little close-up shots because uh, the detail is, and I love the tubing. I love the tubing and the hosing and, and all the extra fine parts that they add. And I guess it's a camera on its right side. And then that slips right off. I do want to see what it looks like with the uh, with the frosted helmet casing. His eyes are articulated, by the way. I will play around with his eyes later on. 
that pick that you see in the uh, uh, in the air tank that's what that's used for is to adjust the eyes I'm gonna adjust it on here that is cool I love that skull uh, face plate that he has on he looks badass with the frosted uh, helmet case and, and without it. I'm probably going to display him with the frosted case. I don't really want to look at his face. I think he looks more menacing. He he looks like a, a space trooper once you don't see his face. Most astronauts, I mean, when the astronauts that travel to the moon, you don't. It's a, uh, it's a reflective case and helmet. You don't see their face anyway. And I'm going to slip their hands on here. And that's it. And then it just dawned on me too that uh, he's supposed to hold the flag on his right hand, on his left hand, because uh, the actual flag is, can only be seen through in one direction. So I'm gonna, I'll swap that out so it looks right. And then get that on his left hand. There you go. Would have been kind of cool to get that lit up, but that's okay. And some final shots on here. I re I'm really blown away by this. I really am. I, I know this particular figure falls into a, a niche market. This is not something, if you're Marvel or DC, you may or may not be into something like this. I am. I'm, I'm big into space. I'm, I'm big into uh, the whole space program, astronauts, and so forth. And this is just a killer piece. I'm going to quickly glance the instructions to see if I missed anything. And glancing over the instructions is where I discovered that his eyes move, that his eyes are articulated. Having articulated eyes, I mean, is, is such a nice feature for 1-6 scale figures. I wish more 1-6 scale figures would include the articulated eyes. Yeah, I probably would adjust the, 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 the cost of the figure, but it adds such a, a depth of realism to the figure. And it brings it brings it to life. I'm gonna remove this skull cap here, this molded skull cap, and, and I'll show you. And later, I realized I, I really shouldn't have played with it. I was kind of content with his eye position, where or what he was looking at. And when I started playing around with it, I, I realized, like, you, you know what, this is more of a hassle. And I should be using the tool. I, I didn't realize that that was that's what that was for I called it a moon pick <laughs> in my head it was a moon pick but uh, I'm just using my my fingers here and you can kind of see how creepy it looks <laughs> yeah kind of a medicine I, I that 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 skull face plate he has on it is is, is badass too it really is I'm gonna keep it like that I'm gonna I'm also gonna adjust the light into I, I want to see what it looks like glowing underneath the uh, the, the clear visor show that to you folks it's cool it's it's a cool feature I don't know if I if, if I dig it I would prefer not to see his face I would have preferred to see maybe blinking lights on the air tank kind of or or like red or blue little micro lights on his chest plate or something like that but again this is based on that trailer this is their logo for Kojima Productions, so it's as accurate as as that logo. And this is my Gene Cernan astronaut, my 1-6 scale man that landed on the moon. Just to kind of, for comparison, what a, a, a real astronaut looks like to a science fiction astronaut looks like. But uh, overall, I'm happy with this piece. This is 1,000 toys. You, you, you did it again. I, I love the stuff that this company pumps out. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. Thank you.